Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Spark and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what is the best eSIM or phone service for a Graphene OS phone. Now, if you guys want to know uh, where I have made a couple of decent Graphene OS videos, most recently around a month ago, I made a pretty good tutorial on how to go through the setup process on the website. Me just kind of running it through as someone hasn't done it for a little while, making sure everything was up to date and everything like that. But once this is done, you might be wondering, well, what phone service do I put on this phone? What is compatible? What is the best? And that's what today's video is going to be about. So what exactly would be the qualifications for even picking a, a phone contract uh, for Graphene OS? Um, and that's something you might be thinking to yourself. Um, fortunately for you, I've pretty much reviewed a lot of the major uh, phone carriers out there. Um, so let's go ahead and discuss which are the qualifications that I think are necessary. So here is my little document I made. I would say for the best SIM or eSIM or no contract or whatever phone service on Graphene OS, the first thing you need is something that's cheap. You don't want something that's gonna break the bank. If you're using Graphene OS, you're probably using some variation of Pixel. Lots of people are using old Pixels and any kind of, uh, you know, the modern Pixels at least are not too expensive, but you don't want something that breaks the bank. Number two, you want something that has lots of options. Do you want to buy a, just 10 gigabytes a month and a little bit of minutes? Do you want to buy um, just a decent plan that is not going to be too expensive, but maybe you want some flexibility? That's important too, I think. If you're someone who likes using Android and Graphene, you're probably someone who likes options, at least for customization, stuff like that. Next up, you're going to want something that's trustworthy with good privacy, which means you're not going to want to pick any of the phone providers who have data leaks. This immediately scratches off AT&T, Mint Mobile, Verizon, and all those different things um, that have data leaks. So you're going to want to use something that does not have a data leak in the past, since that is more trustworthy. Next up, you want something that's going to work easily with Graphene OS. You don't really need a uh, a SIM card set or anything like that, you can do it very quickly within five to 10 minutes. Um, you want something that's gonna be compatible and that's what we're gonna be discussing in this video. Lastly, you don't want a contract probably. Do you wanna be locked into a pricing plan? Probably not. So these are our qualifications that I think make the best options for graphing. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Now guys, before we get into what are the best options, I might wanna recommend you one more service that you might wanna check out. Incogni is a sponsor of the channel. Now, what does Incogni do? Well, it's a service that actually removes your IRL information from data brokers. This is very important. And with my link below, you could get 50% off Incogni, making it much cheaper than competitors like Delete Me and other services, which actually pretty much do the same thing. Incogni is just half the price because it really shouldn't be that expensive for a service like this. Basically what this service does is it goes all the different services like white pages, and instead of making you email 200 different websites, it does the work for you. So definitely it will save you time and keep you more anonymous on the internet, which is definitely ideal. It also actually prevents you from getting as much robocalls, which is definitely a bonus. So guys, let's go ahead and discuss which one I recommend. Well, I've actually ranked all these different options in a tier list. More specifically for Graphene OS, I would really only recommend S tier options. So my three options are gonna be Tello, US Mobile, and Visible. Now, why do I recommend these options? Well, each one for different reasons, and we're gonna discuss why right now. So guys, the first option I'm gonna recommend is Tello. Tello is the top rated service here on the channel, and why is that? Well, it's the most flexible option, and it has no data breaches in its past history. Here, as you can see, you can customize it to really any extent you want with any flexible plan you want, um, and it's the cheapest one out there. Excellent service. I'll put a link for this in the description down below if you want to get these prices. Next up is US Mobile. This is a very highly regarded uh, service that you'll see people talking a lot about. It's not as quite as flexible as something like Tello, but for most intensive purposes, it's going to give you the same thing. It's just going to give you really one plan only compared to Tello's flexibility. But for most people, that's fine since they want unlimited options. Unlimited data, I would say, actually. Lastly, we could talk about Visible. Now, Visible isn't as good in terms of data breaches, but if you want something that has more data um, and you don't care too much about past data breaches, you just want as much data as possible on something like a Pixel or Graphene OS, Visible is also an excellent option. All these services for kind of like the max amount of data is around $25 a month for kind of like unlimited. Visible though doesn't like throttle you as much after that certain cap. I think it actually is more of a limited kind of thing. It kind of gets confusing differentiating the different data things and things like that. But Visible is like really one of the only kind of unlimited 
kind of uh, phone contract providers that is no contract although i do believe they have had some data breaches so i'll be putting visible tello and us mobile in the description down below thanks for checking out this guy's video let me know what you think of it down in the description down below check out some of my other graphing videos if you're interested and i'll see you again very soon